Hey there. I'm just here in my home office working on putting some different files together for some music services we're working on. We're doing lots of file transfers as a team. We've used Google Drive, we've used WeTransfer. We do a lot of stuff in Dropbox. Let me show you how it works. It's pretty easy to use and it's a great tool. Most of all, it's free. Dropbox is really easy to find. You just go to dropbox.com. And if you don't have an account, it's easy to sign up. Really doesn't take much at all. Like every website, if you do have a sign in, you can click remember me so you never have to log in again. Once you've logged in, your screen will look like this with your files and folders listed right there in the middle. Once you are in a folder that you want to look at a file or add a file, you simply look at the menu on the right. There's two great things here. The first is it shows you the initials of all of those who have access to that folder. So Simon and I work on this folder together. So it shows that SG Simon and CL me, we both have access. And to upload files or folders, we simply select that icon. Like every other program, you simply select the file you want, hit open, and it is added to your cloud storage. Again, it shows you the status that it's been uploaded. It'll tell you how long if you're watching and it's a heavy file. But you can also see your options there to share or open. When I select share, it opens up this box and it shows me who is the owner of the file, who can edit the file. It also allows me to get a shareable link that I can send out to anyone who I want to have access to this file or folder. To download a file so that I can work on it on my own system or to do other things with the file, I simply just click on those three dots and this menu appears. From there, I can do whatever I need. The last great thing about Dropbox is you can see the folder history for each folder in your cloud storage. In this folder, for example, I can see that Simon added files yesterday. The ability to see this history is really important while you work remotely and are working with teammates in different locations. It allows you to see who did what and when, and it's a way to make sure that you are working from the most recent version. It's actually one of my very favorite things about using the Dropbox platform. And that's how easy using Dropbox is. Whatever tool you use to share files between those who you're putting church together with, keep doing what you're doing. It's great work.